April favorites. Take two. The dog's getting creeped out. Candidly, at least today I'm going to be talking about my April favorites very, very late. What's today? It is May 12th, and um, yeah, we're pretty late here for April favorites. I did travel to Florida to go see Beyonce. It was like one of my favorite moments in April towards the end. It was so much fun. You guys could check out the video. I'll link it down below, and it's it should be the last video that um, was posted. Anyway, as for today, I'm going to be talking about my April favorites. There's some beauty items, some food, a tool. So let's get started. On a trip to Walmart, my husband was looking for a bike, um, like a pump. And so we're like, where can we find one of those? So we stopped in at Walmart and I was browsing around their beauty section. I do have to say their drugstore beauty selection is huge. I had been looking for the Rimmel Contour Kit and I hadn't been able to find it anywhere. Like I was looking literally everywhere for it. And um, so I walked in and I was like, ooh, I found it. And then while browsing, I found this puppy right here. This is a dermaplaning tool and it's by Noxzema. It's got a little razor here. Um, it's not like a razor where you're like, oh my God, I'm gonna cut myself because that's immediately what I thought. Comes with a little cap, makes a little vibrating noise. Not sure if you can hear that. And you have to put a battery in, it's battery operated. And let me tell you something, I never thought in a million years coming from this hairy child here that I would ever use something like this on my face. It honestly worked so well for me. I had heard a lot about dermaplaning and I also heard about shaving your face and I was like, shaving your face? Girl, bye, no. Like, I'm not gonna go there. But I decided to give it a whirl and it worked really, really well. The uh, razors are disposable so you could get different ones and I think that I went like hair removal crazy. I used this and let me tell you, my makeup application was like on a whole nother level. I just felt like the makeup looked super effortless and it just looked clear. Like you could see it so well against my skin and I owe it all to this puppy. It runs for about $9.97 I think it is and then the razors, they come like three in a pack. If you guys have a lot of like peach fuzz or hair on your face, pick this puppy up. Don't be scared, it's not gonna grow back like a man. We don't have that kind of coarse hair on our face. Um, and trust, I used it on my mom and she was like, come back and use that tool on me. So, Noxzema, I'll link it down below. You guys have to get one. So the next skincare item that I have here is the Benefit Moisturize Prep Toning Lotion and it looks like this. It smells, you guys all know, if you've been following me from the get-go, I love a good smelling product. And honestly, I use these together. So once I did this and I was done removing my hair, I washed my face and then I went in with this toner and it made everything just, it just locked moisture in and it didn't make me feel like extra red afterward because it does make you look a little extra red. Like, but it goes away. I feel like it's made such a difference. It's got a moisturizer in it, so it just, it does both things. It tones and it moisturizes at the same time. I recommend it, I'll link it down below. The next item that I wanna talk about is um, a brush, and I never thought that I'd find a brush that I could not live without. I found it very like last minute. Like I was walking out of CVS and I was like, oh, brushes. It is the MUA Professional, it's Makeup Academy, Professional Crease Brush in number 315. It looks like this and it's got, it's a little pointy, not too dense, not too fluffy. It's perfect. I honestly feel like this brush changed my life. <laughs> I feel like my crease has been looking so beautiful and I owe it all to this brush and I honestly probably need to go buy like two more just to have a backup because I have a feeling 
that they're gonna like take them off the market or something like that and I'm gonna be like no if you guys want something that gets into your crease really really well and isn't too fluffy it's like perfect it just fits right in there and it does a really really good job so it's under I believe it's under seven dollars so you guys can go pick one up they sell them at CVS as for makeup, um, I do have a few little items here that I want to talk about. Okay, so for eyeliner this month, I only use one specific liner that I'm going to talk about right now. It's the L'Oreal Voluminous Superstar Liquid Eyeliner, and it looks like this. It's a felt tip, and I never really thought that I'd be able to use one of these, to be quite honest. I always thought like, oh, I'd be able to apply liner perfectly with a brush, but you know, like an angled brush. I just feel like I do really good with pen liners. Like I, I'm able to really have control over it and I don't feel as nervous when I use it. Like, yeah, nervous, I, I did say nervous. It runs for under like $7 and it's perfect. And the pigmentation is great. I feel like the felt tip is wonderful. Um, it's like super fine at the end. I'll show you guys right here in a clip. I'll show you guys a swatch as well. Very, very pigmented. I feel like there's a lot in here. I've been using it a lot. And like I said, I feel like I have so much more control over this than a angled brush. So I honestly suggest it for anyone who's struggling with liner or can't get a wing. I mean, I'm not, I think I've said this before. I'm not like perfect at doing wing liner. Like I, I'm still... The struggle is real, okay? I'll get there. I Practice makes perfect, that's what my mom says. So, um, we'll see. Uh, yeah, I recommend it. So if you guys want a liner, drugstore, all the way. For nails this month, I have really, really been addicted, I have it on my nails right now, to this Hello Kitty OPI nail polish. I think it's limited edition, so if you could find it, Maybe Amazon has it, maybe certain, you know, drugstores or beauty stores that sell OPI have it as well, like Ulta. It's this shade here, and it's called Let's Be Friends, and I just can't get enough of it. Like, I keep getting it on my nails. I've gotten it in a no-chip form, and I just love it. I feel like it goes with everything. It's not white, and it's not pink. It's, like, right in the middle. So if you guys are into that, those kind of colors... I love it. I call it my Kim Kardashian nail polish. For lips this month, I have three different lip um, shades here. They're all liquid lipsticks, they're all matte, and they're all by The Balm Cosmetics. And The Balm is The Balm. Just remember that. I went and I picked up one, and I was like, oh, I'm just gonna try it out. You know, what if like they're extra drying? What if I don't care for them? And then I went back for two more. They're really, really good liquid lipsticks. They're really, really comfortable to wear. They stay on, they don't really transfer onto cups and things like that. So I really, really have been enjoying them. I'm actually wearing one right now on my lips and this is in the shade Adoring and then the other one is in the shade Devoted. So I'll swatch them here for you guys right now. This one is Committed and then you have Adoring which I'll swatch it here on my hand even though I do, I am wearing it in this video. And then the third one that I picked up is Devoted, and it's more of like a red. Seriously, these three shades right here define my love of lippies. If I had to define lip shades for myself, it would be these three. <laughs> um, I got a nude, a very dark, like vampy color, and then a red. It's, it's what I, I'm comfortable with. I don't really go super nude, so I was very, very surprised that this nude worked out for me because you guys all know how I feel about nudes and feeling washed out and they don't go well against my skin tone. These ones did the job. So lastly for makeup, I've really been loving this 8 hour afterglow highlighter by Urban Decay. It's in the shade Sin and it looks like this. It's absolutely beautiful. It's very champagne-y, gold. It's got not too much glitter specks in it, which I really, really like. I don't like for a lot of highlighters to have like a ton of glitter. I like sheen. So here I'm gonna swatch it for you guys right now. And it's absolutely beautiful. Um, it, I feel like it'll go great on any skin tone. If you have olive skin tone like myself, I, it just looks absolutely beautiful. It does wear for a really long time. And it's just a favy. Like I'm, I'm loving it. And if you guys could pick it up, 
uh, I recommend it and I really really love that the compact is super small and super sleek you know the pigmentation is just great it doesn't have a lot of glitter and it's very like it's got like a sheen to it so you're not looking like I'm not really really big on super glittery highlighters like I like them to look a little bit more sheen and that's exactly what this guy does so for food I don't really have a food but I have another drink I think I had another drink last month but I just keep finding things to drink there's a story behind this I saw this commercial for the product that I'm about to mention right now and I was like, oh my god, that sounds delicious. It reminds me of LaCroix. I went to four different targets looking for a, this specific flavor and I could not find it. I had to do an online search, okay? Like, call me crazy. I had to do an online search. I even looked for it in my at my local supermarket and I still couldn't find it. I ended up driving to a specific target I picked it up, I came home, and I told my husband, this better be worth it. And it absolutely was because I'm on my third box. This is the Dasani Sparkling Raspberry Lemonade. It's got zero calories. It's a lot like LaCroix, but there's one thing about it that I'm concerned about. LaCroix, like their nutrition facts in the back say 0000. And this one says 001% zero zero and I'm not really good with like nutritional things but I, I haven't been drinking this every day like I drink my LaCroix because for the sodium wait for it it says 35 mg's and then one percent of that I don't know if that's a bad thing it might be but this flavor is like oh my god it's like all your summer dreams have come true in one can. So for books this month, I've really been loving this specific book. It's called You Are a Badass, How to Stop Doubting Your Greatness and Start Living an Awesome Life by Jen Sincero. And I'm all about like self-help books and positive books, positive quotes, things like that. This book, I have dug right into it and I love it. It's one of those books that you just don't want to put it down. And I think that it's a book that I'd probably read two times. So far, so good. I love it. There's a lot of funny parts in here. A lot of parts that make me think like, oh my gosh, I never thought about that. This is so true. It's one of those books. Anyway, before I end this video today, I just want to say that there's going to be kind of like a second part to this video. It's going to be a separate video. I'm going to have the same outfit on. Don't judge. Um, I'm just letting you guys know I'm putting it out there so you're not like, wait didn't I just watch that no it's gonna be another video it's gonna be just a short little review on something and I'm just giving you guys a little heads up so anyway that's all I have for today thank you guys so much for being here I appreciate it to my new subbies thank you guys so much I hope you guys enjoyed this video subscribing does help me out liking lets other people see our goodness here on this channel and all the fun that we have right anyone Anyone out there? Anyway, that's all I have for today. Thank you guys so much for watching. Don't forget to give this video a thumbs up and subscribe down below if you haven't already. And I'll see you guys next week. Bye.